A brand new Hubble image from the Large Magellanic Cloud is turning heads and rewriting what we thought we knew about how stars are born. In this video, we'll dive into how these cosmic clouds reveal the universe's hidden machinery, why this discovery matters right now, and how it connects to our understanding of the earliest galaxies. Hubble's latest image zooms into the N11 complex, a vast star-forming region in the Large Magellanic Cloud about 160,000 light-years away. This is the galaxy's second-largest stellar nursery after the Tarantula Nebula, and it's teeming with chaotic beauty, glowing gas, dark dust filaments, and clusters of young, massive stars. What makes this observation so special is how it merges data collected across decades by Hubble's cameras. Older exposures from the early 2000s were combined with newer high-resolution images to reveal the scene in both ultraviolet and visible light. The result is a living portrait of stellar birth, a three-dimensional tapestry of energy and motion frozen in exquisite detail. At its core, we see brilliant newborn stars releasing torrents of ultraviolet radiation that cause surrounding hydrogen to illuminate sculpted cavities where earlier generations once lived. Those same stellar winds now push gas outward, compressing nearby material and sparking the next wave of star formation, a self-propagating chain reaction across light years of space. Within N11b, astronomers have traced multiple generations of stars. Older clusters have carved bubble-like cavities, while newly ignited stars form along the edges of these expanding shells. This is stellar recycling in action, one generation gives birth to the next by reshaping its environment. Because the Large Magellanic Cloud contains fewer heavy elements than the Milky Way, it offers a glimpse into how the first stars in the young universe formed under primitive conditions. The low-metallicity gas here behaves much like the material that existed billions of years ago, decades after launch. Hubble continues to surprise astronomers with discoveries like this because of its unique combination of longevity and precision. No other telescope has recorded such a consistent, high-quality archive of ultraviolet and visible light data spanning years in the N11 project. Scientists took advantage of Hubble's long operational record by pairing early images from the advanced camera for surveys with newer captures from the wide-field camera. This layering allowed them to compare fine details, measure subtle changes, and distinguish structures that evolve slowly over time. It's the astronomical equivalent of comparing photographs from two generations and noticing the nebula itself has shifted and grown. Hubble's sharp resolution in visible wavelengths is another unmatched asset. While the James Webb Space Telescope reveals dust-shrouded regions in the infrared, Hubble provides the crisp outlines of those same structures. When scientists combine the two, they get both the skeleton and the soul of star-forming regions, one showing shape, the other depth. Equally crucial is consistency. Over the years, Hubble's instruments have been meticulously calibrated, which means astronomers can compare old and new data without worrying about distortions or mismatched color scales. That reliability makes it the gold standard for verifying and contextualizing discoveries from newer observatories. Hubble's long-term watch also enables time-lapse astronomy. Nebulae aren't static. They expand, brighten, and morph as stellar winds and radiation reshape them. Only a telescope with a multi-decade record can reveal these slow, majestic transformations. Each new Hubble campaign builds on that foundation, adding motion to what was once a still image. And beyond the science, the telescope's public outreach mission remains powerful. Through the Hubble Heritage Project, raw data becomes breathtaking imagery that connects people to the universe, turning cold numbers into cosmic storytelling. Behind every Hubble image lies an extraordinary network of people and nations working together. The telescope is a joint mission between NASA and the European Space Agency, supported by scientists and engineers across the world. This collaboration is the reason Hubble is still thriving decades beyond its original lifetime. Through multiple servicing missions, astronauts replaced instruments, upgraded hardware, and installed new detectors that keep Hubble at the cutting edge. Those efforts transformed what could have been a retired relic into a continuously evolving observatory capable of meeting modern scientific goals. Each upgrade extended its reach, from the faintest galaxies to the intricate detail of the N11 region we see today. Equally vital is open access. 
Hubble's data archive is publicly available to the global research community, allowing scientists from every continent to download, analyze, and reinterpret observations. The N11 image, for example, relies on the combined efforts of multiple research teams, each contributing expertise in image processing, spectroscopy, and theoretical modeling. That spirit of shared discovery turns one telescope into many, a worldwide laboratory orbiting above us. The observation of N11 also represents a multi-observatory synergy. Space-based and ground-based telescopes across different wavelengths contributed supporting data from ultraviolet mapping to chemical composition analysis. Each layer added context, helping to decode how stellar winds, radiation, and magnetic fields interact within the nebula. It's a reminder that science progresses fastest when instruments and minds work in harmony rather than isolation. Looking ahead, Hubble's extensive archive will serve as a reference library for future missions. Next-generation telescopes will use their images to track long-term changes and confirm discoveries. In that sense, Hubble is more than a telescope. It's an enduring bridge between eras of exploration, proving that collaboration, persistence, and open science can keep a single instrument relevant for half a century. Hubble's latest glimpse into the Large Magellanic Cloud reminds us that discovery never grows old. These glowing clouds aren't just distant scenes. They're chapters in the universe's ongoing story of creation. Each new image deepens our understanding of how stars ignite, evolve, and shape the galaxies around them. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.